and welcome to my first ever vlog. Uh, you're joining me at a very interesting time in my life because I've just started a new master degree where I'm studying marine environmental sciences. I'm going to be studying in three different countries around Europe, starting in Bordeaux, France, then Palencia, next to Bilbao, Spain, and then uh, Liège, Belgium. That's a long way away. Right now, I am in Bordeaux, uh, studying the basics. We are doing everything. We're doing physical oceanography, chemical, geology, biological oceanography, statistics. Most of it, I've never studied before. So it's a real challenge. Uh, but it, we're getting there, we're getting there. This is my new accommodation. Um, it's very nice, very uh, spacious, lots of floor space, nice bathroom, kitchen's okay. And how's Bordeaux? Bordeaux is incredible. It is beautiful. Perhaps the most beautiful place I've lived. Do you want to go inside? is just overflowing with culture and art and wine. Oh my god, there's so much wine. There's so much music and art galleries. Uh, we've been to a lot of museums. Uh, we went to a choir performance, which was pretty interesting. So we went to a art exhibition that was themed around ocean, the ocean and ocean life and things. That was really cool and obviously it was, uh, it was really up our, up our alley. And in September, it was actually my birthday, and my friends baked me a cake in a frying pan. I've never heard of anything like that, but they did it, because they're amazing. And what made that day even more memorable was the fact that there was a free music festival right next to the university. And it was great, it was amazing, it showcased so many different genres of music, and it was free! <laughs>
in early October, we had a full week of field trips in which we went to the, the coast and we went to this big inlet and we studied the ecology, we studied uh, the, the sea floor and we studied the influence of the tide and we also got to see these incredible sand dunes. They were absolutely huge, the biggest sand dunes in Europe, so I'm told. So, yeah, exciting stuff. me again. So I've been living here for uh, roughly two months now. It is the 6th of November and it's going well. It's been a quite quite an eventful, an eventful past few weeks. So um, I'll get into that in a second but right now I have just had a finish doing a, a presentation on uh, mercury isotopes and it went very well so I'm in a very good mood today. And right now I'm just on my way to get some nice milk from the supermarket. And I have to, I have to walk quite far to get my nice milk. There's no public transport, but it's worth it because I like my nice milk. Right now I'm just next to the, uh, the vineyards. These are all the vineyards you can see. Uh, so that's nice. They look a bit, they, they looked a bit nicer in September, now they look a bit a bit drab. Right now we're in the twilight hours of the of the evening. It's a lovely word, right? T twilight. Love that word. And the sky is incredible. Let me show you the sky. There's the sky. Look at that. But uh, recently I've been up to a lot of things. There's been a few board game nights. Play some board games with some friends. Those were good. Uh, I learned how to play Ultimate Frisbee. Never done that before. I'm terrible. I am awful at Ultimate Frisbee. It's not one of my talents, but uh, that was fun. I've also been uh, probably eating a bit too many pastries. But oh my God, French pastries is really good. I really love uh, the French patisseries. This is the first time I've recorded myself just walking outside, so it's very weird. I, I keep getting some very strange looks from people. I, recently I've been on holiday as well. I had, a, I had a week off, and during that week, I went on a big adventure around the south of France, uh, which was incredible, and I'm definitely gonna dedicate an entire video just for that, that adventure. Uh, but it was great. We saw a lot of France, I did a lot of, uh, quite uh, random things when I had that adventure. Um, spoke some French. It was good, it was a good time. My favorite part was when we hiked up to the uh, top of this big uh, cliff. I, it's uh, in a national park. It was right next to the ocean and, and it was uh, incredible. But yeah, so far life in, uh, in, in Bordeaux has been pretty good. I just need to Improve my French. I've been trying lately. I've been trying to improve my French. Uh, it's been going okay, but I've realised that right now I'm doing the heavy lifting. I, I can't really enjoy learning the language until I've really got some of the basics down, which is what I'm trying to do right now. Yeah, it's quite discouraging when people in France aren't actually that willing to speak French with you. They would either either rather speak English with you, or they would rather just not interact with you at all. They're, they're very um, they're not very patient, I found, especially in Bordeaux. Not very patient when they, uh, or when I try to speak French. Uh, 
Uh, so that's a little bit, that's a little bit discouraging, but still, still persevering. In early November, we also went to a big fun fair. First, we went on this ride, which was moderately scary, especially as it was a fun fair ride. I don't trust them. And I refuse to get on this ride with my friend because I'm a terrible friend. And I wasn't wearing my brown trousers. So this is the first time that I've seen this famous mirror of Bordeaux and isn't it beautiful? Well okay, it's the first this is the first time I've seen this mirror so flat. This famous uh, what's it called? Mirador, I think. It is the 27th of November. I can't believe I've almost been here for three months. We're approaching the end of the semester and it's getting pretty tough. It's, uh, well, this, this whole semester has been quite tough in general because it's been a lot of learning, uh, new concepts and new things. But now uh, we're getting to the point where I have to write three reports in one week and then I have one week extra, one week after to revise for five exams. So I have so much work to do between now and the next two weeks. The pressure's on. Although I did have one moment of levity in this stressful time when we had a Christmas potluck party, which was nice. And we also played a variant of Secret Santa where there was a big pile of presents in the middle and you chose a present or stole someone else's, and then they would have to choose another present, and then you steal it again. It sounded like a terrible idea, but it actually kind of worked. Hello! It is the 19th of December and I've just finished my final exam. And it was fine, I guess. Honestly, uh, the exams haven't really gone as well as I'd hoped, to say the least. I don't really feel like I really managed to demonstrate the, the sheer amount of, of, of work an effort that I put into revising for these exams. Like, uh, I've been so stressed and so uh, sleep deprived, my skin is awful because of that. And I feel like some of the exams went fine and others were just bull But anyway, they're finished now. Um, I feel like it's not entirely my fault that the exams didn't quite go as well as I'd hoped. I think it's 
mainly due to how the exams were structured, how it was just one after another every day. And we had one week, one week to revise, which is not enough time at all. Uh, and there was too much content to revise. And some modules had way more, more, more content than others. Um, some questions just came out of nowhere. And yeah, but here we are. And I am just about to go and get some victory McDonald's because I feel like treating myself, even though it's not really a treat, I know it's kind of poison, but I fancy it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I haven't got much left to do now, just got to uh, pack, uh, I've got to pack, uh, I've got to say goodbye to some of my friends because I'm not gonna see them for a month, which isn't that long, but it feels like it's gonna be a long time. And, oh, I have to do a physics report. Uh, so, not, not much left to do now in France before I go home. So I ordered a Royale with cheese because we're in France and of course, when in Rome. Unfortunately, it got a bit soaked in uh, Fanta because I put it in my bag with the Fanta because I'm an idiot, but man. This is the life. And so, on my final day in Bordeaux, me and my friend Milcia went into town with the sole intention of scaling the big tower next to the cathedral, only to find that it was closed. Typical. So here's what it could have looked like. Cor blimey. Instead, we walked around the town and had a look at some of the Christmas decorations and also we went to the Christmas market, which was very nice. And before I knew it, I was on the plane! Look, there's Chichester! And there's Brighton! Oh dear, I seem to be in England! Ugh! Just kidding, I love you really. And soon I was home with my loving family and I was resting up before my next adventure in Spain. So for now, au revoir et hasta luego amigos. Cheers.